you've got a high-end CPU, maybe even overclocked, but when you check Task Manager or HW Info during a game, your CPU frequency is jumping all over the place. One second it's at full boost, the next it's idling down, even while under load. This isn't a hardware problem. It's Windows Platform Power Management, PPM, quietly deciding that your CPU should downclock to save power, even when you're gaming. Today, I'll show you how to unlock true CPU frequency control by disabling hidden PPM throttling inside Windows. We'll use a mix of registry tweaks, CMD commands, and advanced power settings. Each step is safe, reversible, and gives you more consistent CPU clocks and lower latency. Before step one, safety. Do this first. Create a restore point, system properties protection. Update chipset drivers from Intel or AMD's website. These drivers include power management components that Windows relies on. Know that this doesn't increase clock speed beyond limits. It just stops Windows from unnecessarily throttling or fluctuating frequency. Step 1. Reveal hidden power settings for CPU frequency. Windows tends to keep many of the advanced power management settings hidden by default, including several crucial options related to Processor Power Management, or PPM. To make these settings visible and accessible, we'll unlock them first. CMD Command Start by opening Command Prompt as Administrator. To do this, just search for CMD in the Start menu, right-click, and select Run as Administrator. Once you have the command prompt open, enter the following commands one by one. These commands will unhide important options related to boost mode, power policy, and core parking, settings that are typically hidden in the default view. Once the commands are executed, proceed by opening Control Panel, Power Options, Change Plan Settings, Advanced Power Settings. Now when you look under the Processor Power Management section, you should notice some new settings that were previously hidden. These include Processor Performance Boost Mode, Processor Performance Core Parking Min Cores, and Processor Performance Core Parking Max Cores. In the next steps, we'll adjust these settings to optimize your system's performance, but for now, you've successfully unlocked them for easy access. Step 2. Disable PPM Core Parking One of the main culprits when it comes to CPU latency, especially during gaming, is core parking. Windows's Processor Power Management, or PPM, automatically parks unused CPU cores during periods of low load to save power. However, it doesn't always wake them up fast enough when you need them most, like during gaming or high-performance tasks. Registry Method To stop Windows from parking the CPU cores, we'll need to make a couple of changes in the registry. First, open the Registry Editor. You can do this by typing RegEdit in the Start menu and hitting Enter. Next, navigate to the following path. This GUID is related to the Processor Performance Core Parking Min Cores setting. Look for the Attributes D word entry and change its value from 1 to 0. This will unhide the option in the power settings. Now, do the same thing for the next key, which corresponds to Core Parking Max Cores. After that, Head back to the Power Options menu and go to Advanced Settings, Processor Power Management. Here, you should now see the two settings we've unlocked. Core Parking Min Cores, set this to 100%. Core Parking Max Cores, also set this to 100%. By setting both values to 100%, you're ensuring that Windows won't park any CPU cores during gaming or intensive tasks. All of your cores will stay active and ready to be used, reducing latency and ensuring smooth performance. Step 3. Disable PPM Frequency Throttling Windows Processor Power Management also controls how aggressively the CPU's frequency is throttled. This means it can reduce the CPU's clock speed when it thinks the load is light, which can lead to inconsistent performance. Frequency throttling can be especially noticeable in high-demand tasks like gaming or video editing, 
where you want the CPU to maintain its maximum performance. CMD method. To disable this behavior, we'll use a couple of commands in the command prompt. Start by opening command prompt as administrator. Search for CMD in the start menu, right click and select run as administrator. Then run the following commands. Understanding the values. Zero equals disabled. This means no PPM boost control and the CPU frequency stays at full performance when needed. One equals enabled. This is the default Windows behavior where PPM controls CPU boost. By setting both values to zero, you are telling Windows not to interfere with your CPU's natural boost behavior. This ensures that the CPU stays at its full turbo frequency when under load rather than constantly fluctuating between different states. This is one of the most effective tweaks because it eliminates the small frequency drops that happen every few milliseconds, which can lead to stuttering or inconsistent performance. By disabling throttling, your CPU can handle demanding tasks without any unpredictable dips in clock speed, making everything from gaming to content creation smoother and more responsive. Step 4. Registry Override for Processor Idle States Windows uses C states, idle states, as part of its power management to lower CPU frequency when the processor isn't being actively used. While this helps save power, it can also cause latency and performance issues, especially during tasks like gaming or video editing. By overriding these settings in the registry, you can prevent Windows from aggressively throttling your CPU when it's idle, ensuring that it's always ready for action. Registry Path First, open Registry Editor by typing regedit into the Start menu and pressing Enter. Navigate to the following path. Look for the entry called C Enabled. This controls whether Connected Standby a feature that allows the CPU to enter deeper idle states is enabled. Set C enabled to zero to disable connected standby and prevent Windows from putting the CPU into aggressive idle states, which can negatively affect responsiveness. Next, navigate to... In this section, you'll need to add a new D word. Right click on the right panel, choose new D word 32 bit value and name it hetero policy. Set the value of hetero policy to zero. This ensures balanced scheduling across both P cores and E cores, which is particularly important for Intel 12th, 13th generation CPUs, those with mixed core types. This prevents Windows from aggressively forcing CPUs into deep idle states that hurt latency. Step five, lock in high performance power plan. Finally, let's apply everything with a dedicated high performance or ultimate performance plan. CMD method. Enable ultimate performance. Now edit it in advanced power settings. Minimum processor state equals 100%. Maximum processor state equals 100%. Processor performance boost mode, disabled. Core parking min max equals 100%. This effectively disables PPM's ability to throttle, downclock, or park cores. Your CPU runs at consistent frequency during gaming. And that's it. You've just disabled Windows Hidden Platform Power Management Scheduler. By unlocking Hidden Power Plan settings, disabling core parking, stopping frequency throttling, overriding idle states, and applying an ultimate performance plan, you've taken CPU frequency control back into your own hands. Your CPU should now stay rock solid at full speed during gaming, without those annoying dips or random down clocks that introduce input lag, stutters, or frame time spikes. 
If this video helped you, smash that like button, drop a comment with your results, and subscribe for more deep Windows optimization guides. Because sometimes, the problem isn't your hardware at all, it's Windows quietly sabotaging your performance.